Hello friends, this video on determinant part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. The property one by one. The property one says the value of determinant remains unchanged if it rows and columns are. So let's take a, a determinant. This is my determinant, some matrix for which I got this determinant. So I have this triangle symbol here and this horizontal lines here. For this determinant, let's find the transpose. So if you transpose this guy, you get this. A1, A2, A3 becomes A1, A2, A3 like this. B1, B2, B3 becomes B1, B2, B3 like this. Correct? And C1, C2, C3, the horizontal again became vertical. So this guy is nothing but transpose. Transpose of this matrix. Now, we have to prove that the element and uh, the determinant of this matrix and the determinant of this transpose is same. That means I have to prove that this guy is equal to this guy. So let's take the LHS first. So for LHS, these values we have already found actually. We, we take, let's suppose, uh, we try to find the determinant using this uh, row, first row, correct. So we'll take this guy, we'll ignore these guys. So what I get is, uh, let me write here, A1 into minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1, that is 2, it doesn't matter. This guy becomes, you cancel this, B2, B3 and C2, C3, correct. Plus, we take second element now, A2 into minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2, that is 3, so it becomes minus here actually, minus 1, becomes minus here, and if you take this guy, you remove these two, you get these, these four elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is B1, B3, and C1, C3, C1, C3, correct? On this you add now, if you take this guy now, A3, if you take A3, you remove this guy, this uh, row, and this column, you get these elements b1, b2, c1, c2. So you get b1, b2, c1, so c1, c2. Correct. So what I get LHS will be, my LHS will be a1 into multiply diagonals b2, c3 minus c2, b3. Correct. Minus a2 into multiply diagonals b1 c3 minus c1 b3 plus a3 into multiply diagonals b1 c2 minus b2 c3 correct this is my lhs let me find rhs this guy for this guy i also have to do the same thing so let me do along a row only or let me do along column actually this will be same because I'll get a1 a2 a3 form so let me do along column exactly same form I'll get I will not have to rearrange also so I'm doing along column let me take a1 first so this guy becomes a1 into if I take along this guy I have to remove this and this so these four elements are remaining determinant of four element b2 c2 b3 c3 correct now this guy a2 this guy is nothing but a2 1 so minus 1 to the power 3 2 plus 1 so it will become negative here instead of minus plus correct why negative because plus a2 into minus 1 to the power 3 is minus a2 and if you take a2 here this and this is gone this column and this row is gone you are left with b1 c1 b3 c3 so b1 c1 b3 c3 determinant plus now take this guy a3 for a3 if you remove this guy and this guy because this row and this column is gone now to remove this you are left with b1 c1 b2 c2 you are left with b1 c1 b2 c2 so let's solve this this is nothing but a1 into multiply the diagonals b2 c3 minus remaining part c2 b3 
minus a3 or a2 into multiply diagonals b1 c3 minus remaining part c1 v3 plus a3 multiply diagonals b1 c2 minus remaining part b2 c1. So you see this this value and this value exactly same. Both are same. So I can say that LHS is equal to RHS or I can say that determinant of my first matrix is nothing but determinant of transpose matrix and that is how I prove it. So the property one says that if you for a matrix you find determinant or for that particular matrix you find transpose by interchanging rows and columns and then you find determinant both are same. Remark if A is a square matrix, then determinant of A is nothing but determinant of A transpose. Just to repeat that, because it has to be square matrix, then only you'll get determinant, then only you'll get transpose. Let's take example for this property. So for this property, this is the matrix. So we have to find this matrix, determinant of this matrix and then we have to find determinant of the transpose matrix and we have to prove that they are So let's find the determinant of matrix. This guy is nothing but, we will take along row 1, I like that because it is, it is simpler to me, I know this is plus minus plus so no need to calculate minus 1 to the power i plus j because I know i plus j is uh, or even here, odd here and even here. So let me take this row 1, simpler for me. So that becomes first element 1 into the remaining element because you cut this and this, you get this guys 1 minus 3, 4 minus 3, correct? Because you take 1, you remove the element from row 1 and column 1 you get 1 minus 3 4 and minus 9 so you write this here now minus 1 because for this i plus j is odd and then if you select this you remove row 1 correct and this column 1 column 2 actually so you are left with 2 minus 3 5 minus 9 so let me write 2 minus 3 5 minus 9 plus this guy minus 2 into so you pick this you again remove this row and risk column you are left with 2 1 5 4 2 1 5 4 let's find the value this is nothing but 1 into multiply diagonals 1 into minus 9 is minus 9 minus remaining part 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 minus 12 minus 1 into multiply diagonals 2 into minus 9 is minus 18 correct minus remaining part minus 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 minus 2 into because plus and minus minus multiply diagonals 8 minus remaining part 5 into 1 is 5 so what you get here is minus 9 plus 12 that is 3 minus minus 18 plus 15 minus 3 and into minus 1 plus 3 correct and this is 2 into 8 minus 3 is 5 8 minus 5 is 3 2 into 3 is 6 so minus 6 that is 0 so I got LHS as 0 determinant of A is 0 now what is the value of uh, transpose of A so let me draw transpose of A here only. So transpose of A can be drawn by replacing row with column and column with rows. So 1, 1, minus 2 in this fashion becomes 1, 1, minus 2. Correct? This guy becomes this. 2, 1, minus 3. I'll take this row. I'll make it column. 2, 1, minus 3. Similarly, I'll take the last row. I'll make it as a column. 5, 4, minus 9. This is nothing but my transpose of A. Now I have to find determinant of A transpose. 
same thing applies here i'll take the row one because that is something which is convenient to me or i can take this guy also column anything is fine so let me take row one only that is convenient to me but there's a cache here in this case if you take column you don't need to calculate also because everything will come same i'll show you let me take this column this time if you take this column this guy is a11 i know it's positive a21 negative and this guy is a13 this guy is a positive so if you take this guy or this guy positive negative positive positive negative positive so minus 1 to the power i plus j i did not remember if you take first row or first column positive negative positive positive negative positive so let me take this guy column so i'm using column operation now i'll take this element if i take this element i get 1 into the determinant left is this guys why because this guy is gone and this guy is gone this row and this column is gone so i'm left with 1 4 minus 3 minus 9 correct 1 4 minus 3 minus 9 minus why minus for the second element i told this minus because here i plus j is odd if i take this guy i have to ignore this row and this column i'm left with 2 5 minus 3 minus 9 so 2 5 minus 3 minus 9 plus minus 2 into if i take this guy minus 2 now to ignore the third row and first column i'm left with this guy is 2 5 1 4 2 5 1 4 so now you solve this this becomes 1 into 9 into 1 is diagonal element multiply 9 into 1 is 9 minus 4 into 3 is minus 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 correct this guy minus 1 into multiply diagonal elements 2 into 9 is minus 18 and minus 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 I am done with this minus again 2 into multiply diagonal elements 4 into 2 is 8 5 into 1 is 5 so what you get is 9 plus 9 minus minus 12 sorry this is minus 9 1 into minus 9 is minus 9 minus 9 minus minus 2 that's minus 9 plus 12 that is 3 see these numbers are exactly same here here it is minus 1 into minus 18 plus 15 that is minus 18 plus 15 is minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 and minus 2 into 3 8 minus 5 is 3 minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 so what I get finally is 3 plus 3 minus 6 that is 0. So if you see my LHS and RHS are same. So I can say that determinant of A is nothing but determinant of A transpose. So what we have seen that? We have seen that with this example we have proved the property 1 that determinant of a matrix A is equal to determinant of the transpose of that matrix. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.